Step one is to cut a hole in a plastic container so as to facilitate the uh, transfer of electricity through the plastic container to a bath of water that's on the other side. The water on the inside plastic container is going to be the alkaline water. The water on the outside of the plastic container is going to be the acidic water. And I'm going to use this old milk container, which is getting tossed out. Uh, I'm going to use that as my alkaline water container. I'm going to use a sponge as a semi-permeable membrane uh, so as to hold the, uh, the alkaline water in this container and the acidic water uh, in the bath, the outside container. So right now I'm heating a pin and I'm going to put it through this container and I'm going to make a little slice in it and that's going to serve to uh, facilitate the cut process uh, that I'm going to now use a pair of scissors to uh, cut the hole in this container so that I can wedge the sponge in there so it'll fit nice and tight. Okay, cutting the hole in the container. I've got these sponges uh, they're just about exactly the same length, or uh, same width rather, as this milk container. So I'm going to cut it right to the, or uh, just inside the outside edges. A little hole that I just put in there with the pin, heated. This way. Cut it that way. This is an exacting science. <laughs> Voila! And a hole in a plastic container. And take a sponge, make sure it fits in there nice. And I made it too big. Well, strike one. Next container. <laughs> okay, a little update because it was too big. Just went ahead and stuffed another piece of. Uh, actually, there's a whole sponge in there. Okay. So now we got we got a bath, we got our alkalized water container, we have a battery. I've got two. So the 12 volt battery. Really doesn't matter what kind of battery. I've even heard that uh, you can do this by hooking the uh, hooking the electrodes up to a uh, up to the house current, the wall power. Uh, I just figure the battery is probably a little bit safer, so that's why I'm going to use this battery instead. Water and health current, yeah, real good idea. <laughs> okay, what's important about uh, alkalizing some water is uh, that the alkaline water uh, that it goes into, or that the um, the el the negative electrode goes into the alkaline side. So that's what we're gonna do here. That's the positive side.
stainless steel. Use my mom's silverware. She'll come home, she'll be nice and happy about that. Just making this coil on here uh, to secure the secure the electrode, which is this uh, which is this stainless steel butter knife. Secure that to the electricity. So let's go ahead and do a little. Not seeing sparks fly, but who knows? <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll do this test for the bubbles. Plating needs to be scratched off the copper, that's why. scratched off the copper here so making a good connection do the same on here uh, this wire this wire has plating on it which uh, I don't know, prevents the electricity from flowing so before you use it you get to scratch off the plates but um, I don't know for if you use an ordinary wire what's important is that it be connected to the stainless steel that you're going to submerse as electrodes into uh, the alkaline and the acid water. is the negative, negative side of the battery signified by the black, it's a positive uh, signified by the red, and we have it connected up to uh, the positive side is in what will be the acid bath, that's the acid, uh, the water that will be acidified by the electrolysis process, and uh, this is the water that will be protected and alkaline inside its own container. fill up the containers with water and uh, baking soda. Just a little bit of baking soda. From what I understand, it only takes like a, a tea, uh, teaspoon, I guess, of baking soda. The baking soda serves as what's called an electrolyte. So we're going to put uh, some water in there, an electrolyte, and we're going to perform electrolysis with the electrolysis being separated uh, by virtue of the uh, semi-permeable membrane, which is the sponge. 